Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you how to draw the beam layout diagram for the north facing house plan by using AutoCAD software. So in my previous video, I was explained how to draw the typical floor plan for the building structural model which is of north facing house plan. So you can watch that video. I will provide you that video link in above cut link. You can watch from there. So in this video, I will cover you how to draw the beam layout diagram by using AutoCAD software. So for that, just I am selecting my AutoCAD software. Now we can see this is the AutoCAD building plan. So initially, I am rotating this model. So this is my north facing house plan, which is consisting of some dimensions here like this. So again, I am rotating this model like this for the respected x axis as well as the y axis. This is the north facing house plan. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Let's start our video. So before creating the beam layout diagram, initially we need to create the dummy floor plan for the building model. So for that, just I am selecting copy option, CO enter option. Just I am selecting all the models here. Click on OK option. So here I am selecting the base here like this. So again, I am selecting at a distance of 55 feet like this for this building structural model. So after creating the dummy floor plan, we need to delete all unwanted beams and column sections as well as the text for this typical floor plan. So now we can see here, here I was removed all the sections. So before going to drawing the beams, we need to create the layer. So for that, just I am selecting layer command here, layer. So click on enter option. So initially I am selecting one layer, new layer. So giving the name as beam, just I am giving here. Select the color, just I am selecting here as color according to your consideration. So for simple understanding, just I am selecting blue color here. So it will be consisting of the layer type line type is continuous here. Okay, so you can select this continuous line. So now we have to load the line which is related to dashed one. So for that we have to select the load option here. So it will be consisting of the dashed lines here like this. You can select any one of the uh, dashed property depends upon your consideration. So here I am selecting second one which is related to dashed space option from this. Click on OK option. So again we have to select this dashed space option which is related to ACAD ISO. 03W click on OK. So now we have to draw the lines. So for that initially we need to select this layer which is related to uh, beam layer option. So here I am selecting line command L enter option. Okay. Firstly I am starting from this particular section. Just I am drawing here like this. Okay. So here I am drawing the beam like this for this particular section. So now we can see the beam will be drawn here like this. So it is having a high amount of the dimensions of the dashed one. So in order to fix the dimensions of the dashed space, we need to select the LTS option. So limit scale. So here I'm selecting 0.4. Let us consider. Now we can see the dashed lines will be applied here like this. Just I'm selecting line command again. Again, I'm starting from this particular location. Just I'm closing here like this for the particular line. Again, in the same process, we have to draw all the beam sections for this location. Just I'm selecting here. Again, I'm selecting point here like this. Again, I'm selecting the point here. Again, I'm closing the point here. In the same process, I'm drawing one more beam sections for this particular locations. So here I'm selecting the line command again. Again, I'm selecting the starting point here. Like this for this particular location. Again, I'm closing the point here like this. Okay. In the same process, we have to draw all the beam sections for this particular section. Just I am drawing the lines. So basically, beams will be consisting of the two types of the beams, which is related to uh, primary beams and secondary beams. So the beams which is consisting of the approximately the uh, thickness of the walls, we, we will call it as beams, uh, primary beam section, which is exist in between the column members. And the beams which is having the less amount of the dimensions when you compare with uh, uh, primary beams is called secondary beams. So here I am selecting offset which is consisting of 9 inches offset here for this particular beam section. Okay. Now again in the same process I am drawing one offset uh, line command which is related to primary beam sections. Just I am drawing offset which is related to 9 inches here. Like this. Okay. So this is the process of drawing the beams. So after that we have to select this. Uh, uh, layer option. So we have to turn off this zero option. So now we can see it will be only visible to your respected model of the beam layout diagram. 
now we have to copy this beam layout diagram so sorry we, we have to move this beam layout diagram m enter option select all these particular sections click on enter option so here i am selecting the point base point here like this just i am moving approximately uh, for 55 feet 0 inches here like this so after that we have to uh, unlock this particular typical floor plan now you can see this is the beam layer diagram this is a typical floor plan so now we have to delete this uh, uh, dummy floor plan so for that just i am selecting all this just i am moving this uh, beam layer diagram which is near to the plan so just i am selecting the base point here again i am moving this to line here so after drawing all these beam sections we need to give the names so for that just i am selecting the text command t enter option so now we can see this is the beam number one just i am selecting here uh, b1 which is consisting of the dimensions is 9 inches cross 14 inches so i am assuming the beam section which is consisting of the cross section is 9 inches cross 14 inches times new roman we have to select with uh, if you want you can select with bold laterals also so but here i am not selecting so you can select the white color for the particular beam section now you can see the beam will be model here like this with the name this time moving this particular section to the center point here like this okay so now i am giving the high amount of the text dimensions for this particular beam number so this is the beam number one so again it is having the same amount of the dimensions as well as the same amount of the cross section for the same line section for the same line section so for that just i am selecting this beam lay layout so just i am copying here like this this is the beam one again this is the beam one again this is also beam one again in the same process we have to give the uh, beam layer layer which is related to two number just i am selecting beam which is related to two number here again it is also having same amount of the dimensions for the throughout the section so just i am selecting here just i am drawing here again i am just i am drawing here again i am just i am drawing here okay so now we have to give the beam uh, text for the uh, horizontal direction so for that initially i am copying this particular beam uh, diagram so click on the copy option select this option so we just we have to copy here and i am rotating this option so just i am rotating to some uh, 270 degrees approximately here okay so now you can see so just i am moving this object m enter option select this object click on enter option just i am moving this particular uh, beam takes it to this layer here like this okay which is consisting of approximately the beam name is beam 3 b3 which is having the dimensions here like this okay so now again in the same process we have to create the copies just i am creating the copy click on copy option just i am placing this particular uh, beam layout diagram text here like this again i am selecting this again i am pasting here again in the same process we have to copy this objects in horizontal direction also click on the uh, select this beam section we have to give uh, modify the text according to the consideration so click on the copy option again we have to select this option click on this option again we have to select here again in the same process we have to select here again in the same process just i am selecting another beam section which is related to beam text number five here i am selecting here so click on the copy option select this beam section click on enter option select this option select this particular location so now you can see here the beam layout uh, text will be uh, applied here like this for this building structural plan okay so now we have to save this model which is related to uh, beam layout diagram for this particular plan in the pdf format so for simple understanding only just i am keeping this beam layout diagram uh, beside this uh, floor plan so this is a beam layout diagram text t enter option just i am giving the text to beam layout diagram text so you can change the dimensions of the text just i am changing to one feet six inches with the times in aroma with the white layer so this is the beam layout diagram so now we have to save this model in pdf format so for the just i am selecting z enter a enter option go to layout diagram here so you can select the new layout option from this so it will load your beam layout diagram here like this now we have to select this option so click on the export option click on the pdf option so click on the desktop just i am giving the name is beam click on ok option so that it will save your respected uh, beam layout diagram plan in pdf format so now i will show you that to pdf format so here i am selecting this beam okay so this is the beam layer diagram for the 
typical floor plan so this is the process of drawing the beam layer diagram as per the autocad software if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that questions in my upcoming video i will explain you how to draw the column layer diagram for this typical floor plan thank you